What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started today, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I'm gonna be bringing y'all one of the best, most well-rounded point guard builds and rare ones in NBA 2K24 on next gen. Now, this build today is definitely gonna be reminding me of Kobe Bryant, also a few other players like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and this build name is actually gonna come out to a diming three level threat. Now, with this one today, I gotta be real, we have the potential to get contact dunks, all of the best dribble moves, and as for the offense all around, I think this is gonna be one of the better builds. So look, before we get any further into today's video, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family, and last but definitely not least, Comment down TG for thank God and where you're tuning in from and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. So as we get into the breakdown the first thing that we need to do is put this build under the point guard position. As for the height I'm going to put this to 6'8 and moving on to the weight I'm going to go ahead and put this to 210. Now I think the height and weight are going to be perfect for this build. 6'8s are back and you definitely heard it here first. As for this wingspan I'm going to go 3 ticks up to 7'4. And from here, we should be set to move forward. Now, do keep in mind, if you want to make any changes or adjustments along the way, feel free to go ahead and do so. But I promise you, this is definitely going to be the very best way to go ahead and create today's build. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the breakdown of the attributes. So the first area that I do want to get started with will be the physicals. I'm going to go ahead and put my speed all the way up to an 81. Now, if you do want to change the numbers as far as when it comes down to the physicals, just keep in mind the gym rat batch. Now, if you feel like changing any of these numbers, go ahead and do so on your own time. But if you want the most bang for your buck, I highly recommend that you follow along with every single step of the way. Now, that acceleration, I went with a 75. Moving on to the strength, I'm not going to be creating a weak build this year, so I'm going to go with an 82. As for the vertical, this comes down to your own preference and play style. I feel happy with a 63, but I know a lot of people are going to want 80 and above, so go ahead and make the adjustment to do so. As for the stamina, I think this is really important just as it was last year. So I'm going to put this up to a 96 and right there, we're going to be set to move forward with these physicals. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Gym Rat is still in the game. It's just reworked into another batch. So we can technically consider a plus four coming from our physicals. Now from here, I want to go ahead and get into the finishing. So as for the close shot, this build's going to be a little unique out of this area. I'm going to put this up to an 84, and I definitely believe that this is going to help out our floater and mid-range game. Now moving on to the driving layup, I decided to go with the 61. Now this may be a little bit tougher throughout the year, but with the correct badges equipped, I promise you, I think this is going to be a really nice build. Now we already do have a few badges unlocked that I like such as Felix Finisher, we also get Aerial Wizard and Pro Touch, and that's definitely going to help out towards our layup timing. Now for the driving dunk, this is where you're going to take a minor hit. I'm going to go with the 41, but if you want to go ahead and drop this lower, to get more out of other attributes, I definitely can see that as an option. Now moving on to the standing dunk, here's where things get pretty special. I'm going to put this to an 81, and right there, we even get badges like Fast Twitch and Rise Up on the Silver Tier, and I'm even liking Precision Dunker. Now to wrap everything up for the finishing, the post control, this is definitely going to make this build stand out. So I'm going to go with the 92, and right there, look, we get Unpluckable on gold. We're also going to be able to get back down Punisher, Dream Shake, Drop Stepper, Hook Specialist, Post Fade Phenom. I'm telling y'all, some of the best badges for the post scoring side of the ball, we're going to be able to get out of this build. Now if you have not done so already, let me know down below your thoughts and opinion on the NBA 2K24 My Player Builder. In my opinion, it's more customizable and it feels fresh and this is something that I have definitely been looking forward to. Now we are complete with this area of the finishing. As for that mid-range shot, I'm going to go ahead and put this up to an 86. Now down the road, if you do decide to go ahead and want more out of other areas, go ahead and drop this midi. As for the three-pointer, I highly recommend that you at least put this to an 80. Now this right there is going to allow us not only to move around the floor but be a threat on the outside. Now for the free throw, 
I think this is going to be really important this year as well. Just as if we were taking jump shots, I think that's how free throws will be feeling. So I'm going to go with the free throw of a 90. And right there, we're able to get free points on gold. As far as for the three-point shooting badges, I like blinders. We also get catch and shoot. Pretty much everything that you need, and I really do like Agent 3. Now, if you end up wanting to go the extra route to get an 85 three-point shot, that's definitely something that I can see viable as an option. Of course, who would not want limitless range on their build? As for the shooting and the finishing, I think that this is going to be one of the best builds to pick up and use on day one. Now, for the pass accuracy and the playmaking side of things, I'm going to go ahead and put this up to an 87. Moving on to the ball handle, I decided to put this to an 81. And then as for the speed with ball, I think this is going to be pretty important. I'm not going to go too low, but I'm not going to raise this drastically. I'm going to put this up to a 75. Now from here, we're going to be set to move forward, but we do get badges like blow by, hyperdrive, speed boosters definitely going to be important. Now I think this build has so much potential in any game mode. And the final area that we do need to get into is going to be the defensive end. Now as for the defensive side of ball, I know everybody is going to want something well balanced and I got that just for you. So let's go ahead and put that interior defense up to a 61. As for when it comes to our perimeter, this is really optional, but I decided to go ahead and put this up to a 73. Now, if you want to go ahead and raise this even higher, I definitely can see that to try to go the extra route to get challenger and hall of fame. But in my honest opinion, I think if you go somewhere around the 70s on this kind of build, the offense is definitely going to be able to hold its own. As for the defensive end, we're going to go even better when it comes to our steal this year. So I'm going to go up to an 85 and right there, we were able to get silver glove, also interceptor and right stick ripper. Now moving on to the block, I'm going to go with the 77. And I think this is going to be crucial, not only to defend the interior, but be a threat all around for the defensive end. I like the fact that we get anchor as well as chase down artists. Now moving on to the offensive and defensive rebound, go ahead and put that defensive up to a 60. Put 26 up for the offensive and right here, this is what the build is going to be looking like. So look, we got the high powered offensive end, especially with some post scoring game. You're going to be able to shoot just about from anywhere, especially with boost equipped. As for the playmaking, we pretty much are able to get most of the dribble packages. And for the defensive end, I believe that this build is going to be able to be taken into any game mode and be a huge factor. Not only are we a point guard, but we're 6A. You have most of the badges that are needed, especially on the correct tiers. Now from here, let's go ahead and move forward to check out what we made together. And if you followed along every single step of the way, we should be getting these three comparisons. And now as y'all can see together, we have created the first ever Diamond 3 level threat build in NBA 2K24 on next gen. Now let me know down below your thoughts and opinion on today's build creation. Did you go ahead and make it exactly how I brought it to y'all or remake your own? Now take into consideration this build at 99 overall. Also on top of this, you have the potential to buy your own boost. We also get the additional boost from our takeovers being activated. And running with teammates that do run with badges that will boost your attributes plays a huge factor. You also have to take into consideration gear. I'm really happy about this year of 2K24. Today will be the first day that servers are live. I have been dropping y'all videos since Wednesday of this week. So look, for those of y'all who are still watching, and if you have not done so already, and it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from. And I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. And with all that being said, though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.